Well, hello and welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. It's been a while since I've been on the bus. It's August 15th or some, something like that, 2020 here. Uh, it's been a hot, hot summer here in Maine. And I have just been so busy. If you've been following my channel, there's been a lot of other stuff. I mean, I've been just crazy busy. Um, but today, I am hoping to uh, cut in my water station here. This bad boy right here. I'm going to be cutting this in the side of the bus for filling and city water. And that's going to come through. Whoops. That's going to be coming through right here. I know I've uh, talked about this quite a bit, probably on a past video, but it's just been so long, I'm not sure where I left off. Um, but I took the measurements on that, and I've carried those measurements outside to... Uh, let me grab the piece so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. To get you up to speed, because it has been a while, and I do apologize. But, hey, life is a wild ride. I mean, I intended this to be pretty much an exclusive bus channel. And then my dad had that tumor, and then six months later passed away. It was certainly a shock to us, not what we were expecting. And it really changed up everything about our lives. And I gave up my full-time job as a store manager for a company. And my brother gave up his full-time job, and we care for our mom. And handling all this property, as you probably know in some of the other videos. But, oh yeah, I've been taking some trees down here. I had a big one here I took down. Uh, you probably saw that when I think I did a video on it. But anyway, back to the bus here. So this is going to be going right where you see those marks. And I've hopefully measured correctly the last time I was working on this. So that this lip overhang right here, I'm just doing this one-handed, lands right tight against this black. So the hole is down further here, so when it goes in, this lip is very close to here. That's that's my goal. So I just gotta cut this out, mount this in there. And again, I'm gonna make this all so it can be removed too because eventually we're gonna be painting the bus. Um, but I can get this mounted in there. Then I can hook up the water, which will easily be able to disconnect. Cause we're not painting the bus this year, that's for sure. Um, so, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I, 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 I measured several times. That's why I see several lines. And I was inching it down to get it as close, as perfect as I can now. We'll see how it turns all out. But uh, i got to drill a couple holes here in the corners. And then use a jigsaw and cut it out. I don't want to use a cutoff wheel to create any sparks and stuff. And it might take me longer than I expect to do this. Because today is my day I'm caring for mom. And, uh, but I'm right here in her driveway and I got alerts on me and cameras and stuff. And she's sleeping right now, actually, anyway. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. I just gotta get a drill set up, drill a couple holes, and hopefully, yeah, I so I got a camera set up here, right here. I can keep an eye on mom. Oh, she's actually sitting up, so I'm probably gonna have to head in there. But uh, yeah, let me put you on pause. pause. And we'll try and get back to it. Hold tight and then I'll show you around the bus a little bit. Well, welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. So this video, I, I don't know what's before this, but I will say it's probably chopped up. I know I started a project on the bus or was hoping to start a project and I had to walk away. And if you, if you sat and watched this video, you, you would have saw that first. Probably uh, it's something about I was finally gonna cut the water fill in to the side of the bus or something like that um, but I was watching mom well that was like that was two weeks ago when that video when I shot that segment of this video so it is now um, the weekend before Labor Day weekend so this is like as up to date as I've been all year long it's just been a busy busy summer and didn't get stuff done that I wanted to get done but did get a lot done I'm actually um watching mom today as well so i'm not even gonna attempt to do a heck of a lot brother's out here working on his bus uh he actually got electrical uh hooked up on his bus before me check out his channel uh finding mark in maine well this is what i've been doing if you've seen earlier videos we had um big huge pine tree here that i took down 
uh, two or three smaller pines are out in here. There's oak you see that used to curve up. It used to go up and then over the garage. And I had to climb it and, and uh, cut those down. I got a couple more stumps I got to grind off over there. Let's take a walk over here. I got the call button in case mom calls me. But we're slowly, you know, and we one more weekend for the yard sale. Uh, yesterday, this just blew over in the wind. Right now, we got this wind from the Hurricane Laura that's coming through. It's a residual uh, mess of it. So I got to fix this, pick this back up. But see, that's the uh, that oak tree right there. I took down, and we're gonna get all this cleaned up for winter, so we'll be able to plow in here a lot easier. You probably see the huge pile out to the woods there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Somewhere out there that I put a lot of the brush in. But yeah, just I'm just going to wrap this up because I've had, I think, several segments. Maybe, maybe not. I've lost track because so much stuff is going on and not, uh, not getting things done, but yet getting things done. Just not getting things done on the bus. Got the trailer moved over here. Got the truck, dad's truck moved over here, which we got running pretty good now. I just got to put brake line, uh, repair, repair brake line. So we'll have that for plowing. I still got two or three loads of steel down the driveway I got to get rid of. But yeah, you know, this is life's wild ride. And I've been doing a lot. I had a huge tree in my front yard. I might've talked about that in one of the other videos, but it was a big, huge pine tree. Uh, right next to that shrub in there uh, and I took that down and that thing laid right out here across this driveway right where I wanted it got that all cut up took a birch out in the process and a shrub so we got to fix that up but yeah it's just been I'm not even probably going to edit this too much because it's just so much just just want to get caught up on videos and I'm not sure where it's going to go from here we'll see I took uh, a tree out down there. You probably can't see like the mulch pile there. It's from the stump grinder. I cut that out. I took one out here. It was in the way for plowing. So it's going to make it easier. But yeah, just uh, really just trying to get a lot of stuff done. But it's just been a, been a hectic, hectic summer, hopefully. My brother's been cleaning out. He's got the building set up now that he can put... His truck uh, that's not on the road now is little Ford Ranger is inside one of those buildings there. So that'll be in there for the winter. And we got all this junk wood we've been picking up around the yard. This was an old fence years ago, a lot of this. Burning that up in the little campfire out here. Just, just really getting the yard cleaned up. Um, Dad, some of this stuff was our stuff, but 90% of this stuff was stuff that Dad had saved that just needed to be cleaned up. We got a pretty good amount of wood here for the fireplace this winter, so we got that. The bus is still here. I'm still working on it. Well, it's, we're going to get it done. It's just I have not worked on it this year very much at all, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And then, of course, um, we have one more week for this. And then we don't want to put all this away because we've decided that next year is the last year we're doing yard sale uh, stuff. So we are going to have a massive, um, that's one of the reasons why we cut the trees down. We're going to have tables set up out here like you wouldn't believe with just tons and tons of stuff. Just get everything liquidated, get it cleaned out, basically an estate clean out of dad's stuff and uh, some of mom's stuff too that we talked to her about. Holiday stuff It's never going to be put back up, decorations. But instead of putting this all away, which we don't want to do, last year we got rid of it all to one guy. This is all new stuff. We're gonna shift all of this to one side just so we can get the plow in here. And the car will keep out, no big deal. We don't go off very far with mom anyways. And Mark said he had no problem cleaning that off. A few stones we get, we'll probably leave it parked over where it is and just keep it out of the way and plow when we need to. But I want the plow truck in here so we can jump in it and go out and uh, plow when needed. But yeah, but yeah, my brother, he's got his power hooked up. If you want to see that, I'm sure he did some video on it. He's actually got power. Uh, he's actually working on the video right now, apparently. But So you have to see that. But his, his breaker box and all that stuff is all set up now, pretty much done. 
so he's ahead of me on that but he so yeah so he can just plug in with with a um city cord now you know uh what do you call it shore power and have power i still don't have that but we'll we'll get to it but yeah that's that's where we've been and that's what's been going on so i'm going to just wrap this up with whatever other videos i find before this one i don't know what's there because it's just been so hectic and we'll see where we're going to go going forward um, i don't think i'm going to get on the bus again this week uh, we're coming into september now i got like i said several loads of steel we got to get rid of and just you know winter's coming so we just gotta get get this outdoor stuff finished up cleaned up taken care of uh, and uh be ready for that and we'll go from there we'll see still want to get downstairs and paint the doors and stuff tracy and i've been talking that's the other thing too tracy hasn't been feeling good she got some uh some doctor's appointments coming up and and surgery so that's kind of been a little bit more stressful so we got you know we got that we're dealing with as well on top of everything else but i try to stay positive don't think about that stuff it's, you know you got to do it nothing to do about it everybody has to deal with it but we got to get um we just got to get this stuff done next year we're going to be most likely dismantling that rv that's an old rv it's no good it's one of the purchases dad made at the end of his life when he had that brain tumor and was not making good decisions and was kind of sneaking around behind our back and and doing stuff and we were trying to help him out so it's kind of a sad situation and so it's something we got to deal with but anyway there's a lot more to do around the property here a lot more stuff to get done so this channel never started out to be this way but you know what when you start out in life you have plans and dreams and things you want to do and life gets in the way sometimes but we're not going to let it stop us we're just going to take care of the things we need to take care of and get back on track uh, anyways thanks for sticking with me sticking around i know there's two or three of you that uh, regularly comment on every video and i really appreciate it sometimes i think about not doing videos for a while because i do have other channels that actually earn me a little bit of money uh, which you know greatly help out and this channel doesn't it's just me chatting about life which is fine but sometimes i just don't have the time so that uh i'm torn between that sometimes but it is what it is thanks for swinging by have a great day remember life is a wild ride we'll see you in the next video